morning everybody, come into my lab. I'm Leo Papas going live on Facebook. Don't be shy, you come closer, Mr. Matthews on the camera. Today is Sunday, March 31st, 2019. And uh, I can't believe it, but today it snowed outside. So what do we do when it's snowing outside? We can't do nothing outside as a farmer. I can't believe I'm going to say I'm a farmer. But anyway, uh, we do stuff inside. And today we're going to do some transplanting. But wait a minute. I give you a little bit of news because I'm wearing uh, a Raptors, Toronto Raptors, because they won last night against the Chicago Bulls. Woo! Fantastic Raptors. And a little bit more news. There was a big earthquake in uh, Greece. 5.3 magnitude. I, I didn't see uh, details. I just saw somebody blogging it. So uh, that's the news there. But in Toronto, Ontario, we got snow. And uh, in Greek, in Greek language, today is Kiriaki Martios Trianda Mia Ikosi Dekanya. And uh, in Italian, for all my Catholic friends out there, I don't know. Wait. I have to call my Italian wife. Hello, hello, Italian wife, are you there? Oh, yes, Italian wife. Can you please tell me the day today in Italian? I don't know if she will. I don't hear you. What's the date in Italian today? Ma, grazie, tutto bene. Anyway, something like Sunday. Anyway, today, what we're going to do. Oh, and again, I have to be careful. In the Greek culture, the same with Italian culture, Catholic culture, we believe in the Malocchio. So this is a cross with the Malocchio eyes to make sure nobody hexes my tomatoes. I don't want anybody to hex my tomatoes because I want them to grow beautiful like my children. So, uh, yes, uh, you know, you tell me this is uh, one of my passions, this uh, tomato growing. So. What else? Hey dad, it's wrist check time. It's wrist check time. So another thing that I love and I have a passion for is watches. Today we do a wrist check. We got a nice Armida A4. Nice, fantastic watch. Automatic, no quartz crap. It's a beautiful watch and I'm wearing it today in my ensemble when we do seed ling transplantation into bigger pots. So, allora, as they say in Italian, all the Greek music, the buzuki, I love it like this. Like that, like this, like that. Anyway, we go live today, so I can show you, come close to Mr. Videographer, uh, Matthew, and what we're gonna do here. These are all kinds of tomatoes. Each row, I got them like organized by their names. Some are big, some are medium. These all here, or red, red tomatoes. Over here, if you see, these ones are some colored, meaning a red and orange, a red and yellow, some red ones here, some ox hearts, some pears. So these are my reds. So we have quite a bit, like probably 70, 72 and 72, less a few we're looking at, over a hundred for sure. Anyway, so what we have to do, if the videographer comes here, I put some soil, top soil, and uh, we put it in here. You know, we make a nice, a nice, uh... is anybody watching us yet, Mr. Matthew? I don't know. Not too many people up on a Sunday morning. They like to, like the manja cake, they like to sleep all day, and I don't know. I can't do it anymore. Before I used to sleep till like 12. Now I can't I can't go past like nine. Sometimes I wake up at eight. I don't understand. Maybe I'm getting too old. Anyway, so we make a nice hole. We make a line up like that. We get uh, our sticker. So which one are we gonna put this time? I need a, a five. So I'm going to go with uh, this one here. This is a very funny one because 
There's a little story about this tomato. This one is about the a huge red tomato. I'm sure it's genetically modified. I don't normally do these gen genetically modified. I do like heritage. But this one, I thought it was funny because I was at the supermarket, the superstore, and a tomato fell on the floor and somebody picked it up and put it back on there. And this thing was huge and it was spewing guts and stuff. So I squeezed it a little bit. I got like a four seeds out of it. And I said, Mwah. It's gonna be that big. Maybe I take it, I grow it in my garden, and then we see if it comes out better. Because in the supermarket, this tastes like water, this, these tomatoes. Anyway, I call it the huge superstore tomato, red. So, they came out, they're like monsters. So, I got the four, four here. I'll put some four here. We go from there and we see. So, what we do is uh, we get the pod ready and then we just go like this these beautiful beautiful uh, tomatoes this one's again this is my only genetically modified the rest are all heirloom and heritage uh, tomatoes so we just put it nice and delicate in the pot we take some soil top soil mix from miracle grow because you know it's gonna grow better that's what they say Anyway, I never had any problems with the tomatoes growing. And what we're doing is we're transplanting them into a larger pod so, so they have more room and they're not so cramped. Because I've been told that they're already cramped in there, so I gotta move. So you're using your finger, delicate, delicate. And you push it down, make sure, because eventually we're gonna take them out and put them in the ground. But that's not until two months. So, and that's it. And then we repeat the process. You know, we get a bit more soil from the bag. I wonder, has anybody got any questions? Am I doing something that you think I'm doing wrong? Or I'm doing uh, really good? Is there anybody watching today, Matthew? Probably not, they're all still sleeping, those lazy bums. There was four. There was four people, yeah. They went to get their coffee or something at Tim Hortons. Kinda likes the Tim Hortons, but you know what? I don't like the Tim Hortons all that much, unless it's the dark roast. I like the McDonald's cappuccino. Well, that's me, you know, because I'm a exquisite. I'm a, a special bird, and I like the cappuccino. So, what else can I tell you? This year, my crop is going to be the biggest ever, and my lovely wife, Sandrina, Sandra for short, my uh, my partner in crime, she is going to go cuckoo when she figures out how many tomatoes I got and how many we got to plant in the garden because she usually helps me, hey, over here, she usually helps me with planting them right off the bat, you know, I got to turn the soil, maybe this year we're going to get some you know, manure, extra stuff, because we're doing extra section. And um, she helps me with uh, planting them first, and then I stake them. So um, from there, uh, it's a lot of work. But once you have them in, all you gotta do is maintain. Like, take the suckers off, make sure they're growing nice, and make a nice section uh, for each tomato plant. So as you can see, Transplants complete. We did two. This is going to take me many, many hours to do at going at this rate. But you know what? On a Sunday when it snowed outside, well, what else are you going to do? You know, go on the Fache book and, uh, and do nothing all day long? I might as well do something productive. And I like having some Hellenic Greek music in the background because then it doesn't get censored because nobody, you know, Facebook and YouTube, they don't know this stuff. They only know is the, the Justin Bieber and the Katy Perry and stuff and then they block the audio, so I don't like that. Anyway, so as you can see, we're progressing along and, you know, as you can see down there, these are the trays that I've done so far. We did uh, two, four, five so far. 
and we have another six, seven to go with these ones here. So, I like to say everybody happy March 31st. Tomorrow is April 1st. No jokes. And, uh, opa, opa, I like to touch to Greek music, you know, and uh, my Molochio cross here. So don't jinx uh, my, uh, my tomatoes. And I wish everybody a fantastic day. And, uh, Take care and make some seeds and grow some tomatoes. Thank you very much. Opa! It's a little bit of Spanish, style, you know, like a bombolero. Anyway, go Raptors. I don't know if they're playing today. Okay.